More natural, right? I Man, she have on the makeup. Yeah, did, she was still fine. Do you prefer her that way no, more than? I prefer made up. <laughs> well, I'm wrong. <laughs> no, fix it all up. I prefer you at your best. Oh, that's terrible. Whatever your best is. Are you saying naturally that she's not attractive? I'm saying some natural's overrated. Uh, Trey, think yeah. about those natural lubricants. Trey, uh, he's talking about your girl Shakira, man. Ain't none of my goddamn girl. Like, shit, I, and she I, may not be that natural. I bet she got some implants. That silicone ain't natural. Right, don't don't let me put Mel you, Gibson on that. Oh, oh, right, we sent Mel out there. You know how Mel feels about yeah, you, Latino. Mel, tell her. We're gonna send Mel <laughs> over there. That's what we gonna do with everybody. Right. We are gonna send Mel on them. Let's send Mel. Send Mel. Mel. Okay. Mel. Send Mel and kick that. Get them. Cuss them out, Mel. Mel, let them know. Mm. All right. Speaking of. Controversy. Uh, holy matrimony, they say. Three celebrity couples tied the knot, mm. ladies and gentlemen. We want to give our congratulations to Carmelo Anthony yeah. and his longtime love. Is it Layla Vasquez? Lala. Lala. Lala, Lala. Lala Vasquez. Yeah. Lala. You know, Carmelo, such a good brother. Nice brother. We had the pleasure of interviewing him. You know, I, I became a fan in t halfway through the interview. Mm. I really like this young man. Nice vibe. Mellow brother doesn't seem to be stuck on himself. Doesn't put on airs. Y'all embraced his brother, and now that he's gotten married to his longtime love, Lala, I wish y'all the best. I hope this marriage lasts forever. That was good, man, because you brought on that red fox humor when you was talking. Yeah, because I'm not gonna talk sh not about Carmelo. Oh, now like some y'all, other Kobe. folks get married. I talk about let, like let, a dog. Let, let, let it have been Kobe. There you yeah. Go. Oh hell yeah. Yeah. Totally different. Now, but even though Kobe, you know, I like his family. <laughs> I'm always nice his wife, his child, See. dad, mom. Okay. That's cool. So I'm respectful that way. And I don't even say nasty, nasty stuff about Kobe. No, you don't. Not nasty, nasty no, stuff. Not, not nasty. Really. Not, not the way I do the dozen. But, I, okay. I talk about the right. Y'all, well, y'all got a hit when the camera's off. I tell her, I used to, you know what, you guys, this, you know, part of my training, the people have asked, Mara, where did you train? And I tell them that growing up, I was the number two brother doing the dozens. Now, those of you who don't know, the dozens is when you talk about people and make rhythmic, sometimes poetic, insulting comments about people. I it's an it art form. I thought it was donuts. <laughs> I thought it dozens were donuts. Yeah, they, that too. Okay. Yeah. You know, but I, I was the number two in the school, and I, my buddy was number one. <laughs> And we would practice insulting each other all day. <laughs> practice. And talking about, he would talk about my mother. I'd talk about his mother. He'd say to my mother. i said, say, well, I would talk about your mother. But I don't even know the bitch. <laughs> you <laughs> and see, it. And so then one day I said to him, I said, tell my mother what you said about her. <laughs> tell my mother, what you say? She, she rides what? She drives the what? Why would that kind of do with her? <laughs> That's cool. And my yeah. mother was like, "Get you guys." So anyway, we came up practicing talking the dozen. So that's why you'll find that I'm very good at that because I came up. I hate to say talking shiznit. So there's my training. <laughs> so now I will talk about other people's marriage, but not people who I care for. Okay. Now Carrie Underwood and Mike Fisher, they made their vows, their marriage official, and there they are, wonderful, happy time. Uh, also. Um, office star John Krasinski he married Emily Blunt okay, okay. alright alright and so we and we said about Carmelo now I heard that LeBron showed up at the wedding and they booed him outside the wedding yes I ain't did ain't that some cold where, where? yep he went to the wedding he went to the wedding of Carmelo Anthony he had a wonderful uh, event at the Cipriani in 42nd Cipriani 42nd Street in New York City and they booed him in New Man, York. they booed him. They yeah, booed, man. Uh, you know what? I'm Them New Yorkers, I'm telling you, <laughs> no offense. And everybody been trying to be nice to New York since 9-11. Right. But here's a city where being an asshole is an art form. Oh, I already know. Everybody yeah. know. Even though I traveled to New York. I used to live there. Because you know, now they, they, they oh, we're not. Oh, come Shoot, on. Some come on. Ever since 9-11, ever since they talk about New York is this. I say, shit. Shit. I've been to New York <laughs> many, many times, and yeah. I know to keep moving. Yeah, keep pushing. <laughs> you gotta and, move quick. And, and, and you know, when I, when I went to school, all the New York people, they talk so much smack about how wonderful New York is. Shit. I said, you see any traffic going from L.A. toward New York? That's cold. Any? Oh. I thought y'all was all coming this way. Huh. <laughs> That's cold. Why do you want to go to that? You know, we always said about New York, New York. 
New York is some clothes where brothers from that closed southern shit go to some open northern shit for a vacation. Right. <laughs> That's what we said about it. Are they mad? Oh, okay. And we're going to beat you in sports too. <laughs> That's right. I like, but otherwise, but you know. I gotta watch out because I have to visit my relatives. <laughs> ah, look at them. There you go. Yeah, they all in New York. They do feed me good in New York. Right. You know, New York is where they have the original chicken and waffles. You know that? I didn't mm. know that. That's yeah. where I go. I went and got. I went. I went there and ate some good. And now I got a new thing called pork chops and pancakes. Huh? Coming out here, man. man. You ever had thought of that? No, pork, man. Yeah, pork no, chops. No. And, no, no. I got I, a wonderful I, idea of trade. No, I got yes. another one. Y'all, y'all heard of ten minute abs? <laughs> I got go. the latest thing. Six minute abs. I thought it was three minutes. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I thought it was we'll do three minutes. Yeah, we do it at the beginning yeah. of the show. Six minutes out. <laughs> yeah, six minutes. All right. All right. Okay. Let's, all right. Let's take a um, let's take a look at the watch. Mm. <laughs> Wait a minute. He, mm. he said, I'm saving some of these stories right here. I'm skipping all the political stories because they too this bad news. Some of these we'll save for next week. Yeah. There's some. Let me tell you some of the stories we're going to cover next week. One, there's a some controversies over people saying that the U.S. building secret bases in Afghanistan. I can see that. Oh, we're oh, going to okay. examine that report. Is it controversial or is it real? Next real. we're going to talk about the Libyan ship that's going to challenge the Gaza blockade. You saw what happened with the last blockade flotilla yeah. that was attacked by the Israeli government. We make And we, we remind everyone, always differentiate between the policies and actions of governments from people. We are, we are not purveyors or spread of any kind of hatred or anti-Semitism. Mm -hmm. No matter what side you are on that issue of the Palestinian conflict, there are people, there are Jews and Palestinians that are there, that are active, that are working together. So don't use it as an excuse for your racism or anti-Semitism. There are big political movements in Israel right now over Gaza Strip. Okay, so I want to remind everybody. So next week we'll talk about that. We'll talk about a bad problem with rapes. What? Mm. Increasing in the post earthquake Haiti. Oh, yeah. Oh, now that yeah. so many people yeah. are displaced, they yeah, got a big problem out. with rape, you all. Yeah, rape. I figured So that. that's going to be next week. All right? All right. All right. Now, real quickly, let's give you this last story. Where am I, Vic? Oh, man, I left it. See, I leave it I on the that, wrong. That's okay, man, because you know I'm something. I'm getting old, man. But you know what? I'm not going to even tell the story. He, he did, he did a, a crazy thing yesterday with me. He was tripping out. He says, Oh, man, I'm losing it. I'm gone. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Did you, hey, hey, man, do you know I was, uh, yesterday I was on the bus and I was listening. Not was, you. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> yes, I have a 40 seat limousine, y'all. There you go. That takes me everywhere. They are I wonderful. Go. I love them. Oh, my God. But when I was on the bus in the back of the bus. Like, I went sitting in the back, and you know how you sit back and you chill until yourself. Remember when that music blasted yesterday with me? <laughs> See, why did anybody want to laugh at what I just said? <laughs> everybody always wants to laugh when some, <laughs> some stuff messes me up. <laughs> yeah, they had a big surge of sound in the headphones. And I just like... <laughs> they laughed at me all day long. See, y'all y'all like to see me. Y'all love to see Mario mess up. <laughs> no, let me tell you. You, know, you know how you be in a room full of people and everybody quiet, and all of a sudden I just went... <laughs> and they thought you was crazy. And everybody looked. And I told some people, I said, no, y'all understand. They just mean. I said, said y'all had to see my, I said, my boss. I was like, you know how you try to explain it? People wanted to listen. I'm like, my boss. I was at work. And fuck it. But, oh, my God. I was like, one of them, you had to be there. But the way I laughed, people knew. Because you know how you, you're just sitting on the bus and y'all all of a sudden, I just remember the way Mario. Y'all, you know, Mario was just doing his thing. When that music came on, it looked like an earthquake. <laughs> I did too, y'all. It was like a joke to my sister. You ever reached for shit that wasn't there? Oh, man. <laughs> you, you know what? It, it was. It was crazy. Hey, me and Raindrop laughed about this shit later like, on. Oh, she was like, oh, that was funny. We just, hey. I, I'm always willing to have them laugh at me if it brings you joy. <laughs> Raindrop was being.